Flavor Flav. You hear what he's up to? What's the Flav doing now? When, oh, when he's not uh, hijacking radio broadcast. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, you know, the reality uh, show thing has dried up for the Flav. Thank God. He had a nice run there. So now he's opening up uh, chicken places in Iowa. Wow. Or one. He's going with one in Iowa. Small place, too. Like a, I mean, a small, like, town. I think there's only, like, 26,000 people in the town, and he decided that place needs chicken. That's the place uh, for chicken, huh? And then he's hoping that uh, he could open up hundreds of these across America. What's Flavor Flav's chicken place called? Do we know? Flavorful. Fla <laughs> I bet though a small town, he'll go there, and him making an appearance there will get a lot of people down. That's actually a smart move, because they'll be blown away that Flav is there. This probably might be a smart place to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Clinton, Iowa. Clinton, Iowa. Rapper and reality TV star, blah, 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 99 cent wings, blah, 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 but it doesn't say how many people live in this town. In the paper, I think it said. Doesn't sound like Clinton, Iowa has a lot of people, though. No. What the fuck is he doing? He's trying to fucking make a living. Yeah, but uh, opening a chicken place in the middle of nowhere? His people are. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Oh, is that it? Come on. I think Flavor Flav is sitting yeah. there going, let's work on the recipe today. It's There's no not, fucking uh, idea. It's not FFC. <laughs> FFC. Flavor Flav's chicken. Flavor Flav chicken. Yeah, FFC. Telling you, man, I came up with the idea today. They should just fucking sell chicken skin, all spiced up and nice and crispy. Maybe he'll do that. Take your advice. Why not, man? You get the mm. beef jerky. Why not a little chicken skin already prepared? Yeah, the flavor is bigger when you buy from this. I, I can't hear that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is this the commercial? Is this him talking about his chicken? All right, yeah, Danny's checking out something. That's fine. Whoa, what is that? He looks like he's in a fast food place or something. There's a big picture of him up on a wall and shit. Still he's some chicken, motherfucker. Yeah, he's talking about his chicken. Is he? Oh, he is? You want to hear about uh, Flavor Flav's chicken? I want to hear Flavor Flav reveals his secret recipe, it says. I think it's, uh, it's time to retire the clock. Yeah, yeah, enough of the clock. We get it. It was your gimmick back in the older yeah, days. Boy. You don't have to wear the clock anymore. Mm. We, we get it. You like clocks. Yeah. It kind of dates you because no one has clocks anymore. No one. All right, here's him talking about the chicken. I want to be known to be up in my spot, active. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find me in here working. You know what I'm saying? You're going to catch me in here seasoning up my chicken, flouring up my chicken, frying up my chicken, and not only that, but coming out here and serving my chicken to people. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find me doing that. You know what I'm saying? And plus, being that Nick built this for Flav, because he has his heart into the business. I want to be the first to cook chicken in my own spot. <laughs> you know, that's why I fried up some chicken last night. So now, I don't care how many pieces of chicken get cooked up in here. I know for a fact, once Nick was done with this place, I was the first one to cook chicken in here. Inside my own place. How was it? Oh, it was great. It was, it, it, it was great. It was all right. Put it this way. Because of the, you know, the pot that we used last night, chicken didn't really fry like I wanted it to. It kind of like boiled in the grease. <laughs> but we had fun last night. Frying up this chicken last night and eating it in here. We just had our own little personal party. This is really night. sad. Can you stop this? You know this it's really fucking wow. sad. That's wow. why that's why we definitely got to quit soon because this is what happens to everyone's career. You end fucking up fucking fat up guys. That. You end up fucking selling chicken somewhere. He was in public enemy. And not even well. And not no. even well. <clears throat> Foot. That oh. was like listening yeah. to a Jew. But that's what happens to everyone's career. It eventually goes to gets to a point where it's just really sad. That was like listening to a Jew open his penny store. <laughs> I'm going to be polishing them, and I'm going to be making them shiny and selling them. Collecting them. Aye. You should come. Did he really open it up next to a KFC, too? Yeah, once I can figure out how to get this fucking ad to go away. I'll, Is that I'll TMZ's oh, horse God. shit? I hate those fucking ads. I like Harvey ads. Levin, he smiles with coffee. Oh, I, I, used to, I used to check out the TMZ, but now, you know, you got to get through the paintball game to fucking read something. 
look, it's just splatters. Yeah. It splats, and then you gotta read that ad. And then you you close that ad, and then another fucking paintball splatter happens, so you don't know what the fuck Lindsay Lohan's up to now. (laughs) TMZ, you're fucking it up, assholes. (laughs) You and your stupid fucking coffee drink. Refresh it. Hit refresh in the thing. No, it's gonna happen again. No, no. <clears throat> all right, look. All right, we get to see. I just guessed about that. Flavor Flav opened up his chicken joint right next to KFC. That's that's a smart business move right there. That's really good. Thinking so much of yourself that you could take out the colonel. With, yeah, with your he's dumb, do it with, with your dumb clock. chicken recipe. But he's really him and his clock. They're going to take out the KFC. And it's not like one of those uh, proverbial, you know, right next door. No, no. It's right next door. Right next right door. Right next door. Yeah. So you're, you have to make a quick decision. Is it, uh, is it the Flavor Flav that's been open for uh, a weekend, or, yeah. or is it the Colonel who's been around since, since my fucking <sighs> grandma came off the boat? <laughs> yeah, but Flav is selling the, uh, the wrap angle, so it'll be have a drive-by window. It's <laughs> pretty <Jesus>. funny. <laughs> <laughs> Foot in the house! <laughs> I know you're just you guys <laughs> talking so much about chicken. That's fast food because they run quick. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, there so you I go. I try to phrase it. We're gonna learn about Clinton, Iowa, because uh, we just need to get the info out there. Go ahead, there, Tony. Uh, just on Wikipedia, twenty-seven thousand seven hundred seventy-two people with ninety-three percent white and three point two two percent black. He so, picked a white area to open up a chicken joint. What a dope! Punching out. What a dope. You know what? We're dumb. It's probably just being paid for, but he's probably just using his name. The, that's, the person who lives there probably said, let me use you to sell chicken, and they're just using him right. as a pitch man. Mm. He went to a town that has 27,000 people. pay money to 90, him. N- about over 90% white, and he opened it up next to a KFC. <laughs> Great business plan. This could be the worst <laughs> business. This could be worse than the Pop-Tart store. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Times Square pop tart. Is that gone store? already? Second, yes. Oh. oh, you weren't here last week. Yeah, no. fucking closed up because we we were trying to get to the uh, the Whopper bar, yeah, which is the, the new pop-tart sensation place. of Times Square. Yeah. With the what's a Whopper? Oh, with Whoppers? Yeah, where you make your own Whopper, a million different ways to have a Whopper. Wait, like a burger? But for some reason, or they, candy Whoppers. No, BK. Man. Oh wow, a Whopper. It's called, it's called a Whopper bar. And we uh, decided we have to try out some Whoppers from the Whopper bar. But why would you have Whoppers in the morning? That's stupid. They only, <laughs> they only sell eggs, even though it's called the Whopper bar. Wouldn't you have fucking burgers around the clock if your name is the Whopper bar? We'd well, rather just sell computers from, like, war games. <laughs> <laughs> just unplug the goddamn thing. <laughs> Hello, Joshua. <laughs> right. I like no pickles, Joshua. Yeah. The only winning move is to not eat this fattening shit. <laughs> oh, I love how the computer learns. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Computers don't learn by playing chess game or playing whatever. Checker, t- ticker, t- tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. Oh. Oh. If he hollers, let him go. Yeah, heeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a... Wow. There you have it. Catch but, a chicken entrepreneur by the toe. I've <laughs> 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 got a flavor flave update. Flav, yo, what's the flave doing? Mm. I was going through some of my pictures and I got um uh, I'll post them eventually on my Facebook page, but um, the day Flavor Flav. Oh, the takeover of our show? Yeah, I got some pictures. By Flav and his peeps? I'll never forget that. Looked like a McDonald's beatdown. <laughs> I, I, yeah. We were just, we were held hostage by the Flav and his peeps. I think out of all the things we've done over the years, that's one of the, my favorite stories to tell people. Because it's just so bizarre that that happened. It was the strangest thing ever. I, like, I want to retell it again right now. Yeah. Because there were I, I so many parts was, to that. Yeah, I thought it was odd that Flav was going to be there anyway. Well, he was hot, and he was doing our show. Yeah. But it was very vague as to what he was going to do, and then it just started <laughs> It just started snowballing. My favorite part always changes, but getting yelled at by Tom Chiasano backstage because the whole thing was live on his Oh, yeah. On his stuff. He's like, uh, you got to end this. <laughs> you got to end this. Bro. You got to end this because, uh, and we're like, I oh, go, Tom, you go out this. there and end this. Good luck. Good luck to you. Flavor Flav has the mic, and he's not stopping he, anytime soon. He is going off because he's the Flav. He thinks it's his show now. So, uh, 
We're just going to sit back and not be shot. <laughs> right. Okay? Right. You want to go out and stop it, Tom? Yeah. Feel free. And, you know, I, I always wondered if we exaggerated as far as the amount of people that Flavor Flav brought on stage. And I was looking at these pictures yeah. the other day, and there's no exaggeration. There was yeah. 20 to 30 people that he brought on stage just to, to introduce to a, a oh, very insane. white crowd. Insane. <laughs> it absolutely looked like a lineup. Like for the entire first season of First 48. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do we have that show, Iraq, in the archives? Uh, I think we do. I'm we, looking for it right now. We, we might have to make some kind of special out of it. Every character from the first season of The Wire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much. Can we make some kind of special around that? Because if you just... If you yeah. just play it, it doesn't make any sense. No. Because it was a complete takeover of our show. Yeah. But if we in interject, maybe do like a mystery science theater type thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And explain like what we were doing at this part. Uh, being terrified. I was I was hiding under the table at one point. <laughs> I went backstage for a while. Just awful. It was. It was frightening. Even our brave audience that has no problem yelling and screaming oh, shit. Oh, yeah, they yeah. Were, they were well behaved. Yeah, what happened to all the black jokes that day? Yeah. That people were yelling out. Yeah. The audience was horrified. They just had their mouths agape. Yep. We should we should find some audio from that day and 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 work a special around it. Yeah, that would be cool. And finally put it to bed cuz we bring it up a lot, but I, I think there's a lot of people that have never it's heard just that. It's one show. of those great moments. <laughs> yeah, because we buried that fucking thing after it aired, too. Yeah. I, I don't think any of that audio ever saw the light of day. If you got a few little clips, Iraq, that that would be great. I'm I'm looking for it. Maybe for tomorrow or later today. But anyway, uh, we mentioned that because Flavor Flav opened up some chicken restaurants, or maybe one chicken uh, restaurant. Of course, he did. He opened up one and was hoping that this thing would take off, and and man, he would be uh, putting Popeyes out of business. What was it called? Uh, Flavor Flav's Chicken Restaurant. That was it. Something like that. Real original. Flavor Flav Chicken. Flavor Flav. And, and, and wasn't it in Iowa or something? Some yeah, out of the yeah. way place. Yeah, he picked some place out of you would nowhere. Think, isn't he from like Long Island or something? Uh, I don't even know. Why would you start in your hometown? Flav's fried chicken. Well, as you'll you'll learn in the story, he's not exactly a hundred percent owner in, of this thing. Oh, I know, but the so. the other owner is saying that Flavor Flav took advantage of that guy when that guy had Flavor Flav on all the buckets. Yeah. So that guy was taking advantage of Flavor Flav's notoriety. Could you imagine sitting with a bucket with Flav's <laughs> big dumb face on it and just wing after wing and leg, you're just yeah. eating it? Did he have a chicken catchphrase? A Flavor Flav chicken catchphrase? I don't know. <laughs> Where's my Flavor Flav? <laughs> Is that a chicken with a clock around his neck? Where? In the upper right corner of the... First no, that's Flav. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, wait, that right? Yeah. Wait, no, I don't think so. I think it's a clock hanging off of you can't even tell the that, words. That yeah. was, uh, okay, that was the first thing I noticed. He he hired the worst uh, design people, for graphic this? design. <laughs> yeah, artists. that really looks bad. First of all, it doesn't even look like Flavor Flav. It's a cartoon version of him, obviously. And then uh, we don't even know what the chicken if the chicken has a clock on it or not. And, now, what's and then the he's line? using he's using that font. Help me out, Ant. From the like the seventies, like uh, like uh, action movie. Uh, who, who was the badass uh, uh, black broad? Yeah, with the afro. Yeah, yeah. What the hell is her? I, I'm trying to remember. Somebody will get it. Yeah, yeah. She was in everything. She was a hot mama. Like Jackie Brown? J uh, Jackie Brown? The one that played Jackie Brown? Yeah, yeah. What was her name? Yeah. That bitch. That motherfucking bitch. No one's getting it down there? Pam Greer. Pam Greer. Pam Greer, motherfucker. He's using that font from like the old Pam Greer yeah, yeah. movies where they they kind of... Down. Give it, dun, 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 dun. Yep. Giving uh, the font some uh, some depth. It's a lot of uh, sh background shadow right. thing. Well, here's your Flavor Flav chicken update. Flay. Hip-hop and reality TV star Flavor Flav. This fucking guy again. Oh, Jimmy, this guy. Thank God Jimmy's not here today. He hates this guy. Worst delivery. Uh, His boring, droll delivery. This isn't the worst guy. Not the, Who's the worst, worst guy. The worst, worst guy is is Ross Simpson. Uh, Associated Press. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this, this is, is a different him? guy. No. Oh, it sounds like him. Yeah, they both suck.
Hip-hop and reality TV star Flavor Flav won't be letting anyone else savor his newest venture. After just four months in operation, Flava shut down the Iowa-based chicken franchise that bore his name. Four, four, four months? That's all it lasted? Four months? I thought it was a longer, longer than that. I just want to say hi to Vincent Bayonne, uh, Bayonne, because he came up with Jackie Brown, and then he goes, Judy Greer? <laughs> <laughs> Judy Greer? And I, then I had kind of like, you know, uh, like a Anthony X mother-in-law, Judy fucking... Judy! <laughs> Judy has the badass Judy Jackie Greer. Brown. <laughs> Stop it or I'll shoot. I swear. She's making all kinds of right turns during car chases. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three rights make a left. <laughs> Flay is doing, he's a fraud. He does not want to be hurt with the other adventures that he's doing, and he's going to want to become a millionaire off my dime, off of my ideas. It all comes down to a dispute with a man Flav picked to run the chicken joint. I started this from the menu to the color of the way the building, from the sign, from everything. I started everything. I have to do whatever it's possible for me to save my name. And the only way that I can save my name is to shut the business down because Nick Semino is not running the business right. Save his name. Well, what what do you think your name what are you is? Talking about your name means shit. That brand, uh, the Flava Flav brand, is not really <laughs> something in, that needs saving. Flava Flav is basically running a Kennedy Fried Chicken and pretending like it's going to be yeah. the next huge right, franchise. To take right. Right. Save my name. They probably serve pizza by the slice there too. My name. Hamburgers. Yeah. Let me what? Let me, Hamburger. <laughs> maybe we could all take a turn, but uh, let me tell you what I think of when I think Flavor Flav. Yeah. I think of that uh, love show he did on VH1, and the women are all kind of um, standing around. Yeah. Wondering uh, who's getting voted off, I think. I think this was a voting off ceremony when this uh -huh. happened. And one of the girls dropped a duty on the she rug. She took a shit. It a went duty down her fell leg. out. That's what I think when I when I hear Flavor Flav. And a nugget. A nugget fell out of her dress and yeah. rolled onto the floor. Yeah, it's wonderful. That, that and you're trying to save that name, Flavor Flav. <sighs> you got one when you think Flavor Flav. I just think, ugh. <laughs> ugh. You're just a little rat man from fucking, uh, you know, NWA or whatever the fuck he was in. Flavor of love poop. I, I bet you we can't find this online anymore. No, it's got to be there. It's definitely It's one of the greatest reality show moments ever. One of these girls that was supposed to be one of these hot bruds. Let's a nugget <laughs> loose on TV. All right, Danny will try to find that, but yeah. let's get back to the, the Flavor Flav chicken update. Right. There were signs of trouble. The reason why I pulled my license is because there's a lot of employees that wasn't getting paid. While no one else will be able to experience the novelty of eating at Flavor Flav's, Semino won't miss the restaurant. But I'm not doing this because of my 40%. You know what I mean? I could care less. I'm just finally glad that I'm free from somebody like Flavor Flav. As for Flav, he says his next venture could be a restaurant in Las Vegas. Ah, there you go. Las Vegas. Flavor Flav will be completely broke. Hand out little grills for the kids. <laughs> they can put little grills on while they eat their chicken. The Flavor Flav grills. Yeah, that'd be cute. Are you? Did you find that, Danny? I did, and then the website froze the well, my browser. Oh, so why? What got it? Find it all over. Here. <laughs> all right. Sorry. Of course it did. There was something else. Oh, we want to look at the McDonald's thing too. So we got a few things. Oh happening. God, that McDonald's thing was just. Uh, I, I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, yeah, that's a uh, couple of unruly uh, women, one 18, one 14, uh, got into it with a, now it's called a transgender woman. I don't know what this means. They're not being specific. I don't know if it's a transvestite or a transsexual well, the experts or a pre-op transsexual. I don't think it's a transsexual. What's a transsexual? Tran or, or, or trans uh, vesta. I think a transsexual is the dick is gone. It's been built into a vag. Is that a transgender? But I don't know if transgender might cover it all. What do we got? Let's look, let's write. So we I got what we got trans right, trans transsexual transsexual. Wait, transvestite. Transsexual, right? Then you have transvestite. Transsexual transvestite. Transvestite, right? Right. And, and then, then this transgender 
What the thing. fuck is that? I, 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 what, I, and what about the freaks that have both? What are they? Uh, that's hermaphrodite. Then you got a hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. So we got to figure out four of these today. But I think transgender covers everything. Really? I think. Transsexual means you, you used to have a dick, it was cut off, and now you got a vag and hormones, and, and you're you know technically a woman. Transvestite. And transvestite is a dude that's dressed like, like a, a woman chick. Or trying to? Yeah. And, uh, trans, all right, wait. I'm all right. So, transgender, ca uh, covers all this shit. I think covers it all. Really? Yeah. Transvestite still has a dick. Transsexual doesn't have a dick anymore. Hermaphrodite has both. Yeah. No, transsexual doesn't mean chick with a cock. Oh, no, no. no, no you're transvestite wrong. is chick with a cock. Transsexual means it's been changed. Transsexual means you got your dick cut off. Right. Transgender could mean the same thing. I'm just worried about transgender. I think transgender is... <sighs> a general term, transgender is a general term applied to a variety of individuals and behaviors groups involving tendencies that vary from cultural convention to gender roles. Thanks. Thanks for that nondescript I hate the definitions that mean nothing. <laughs> yeah, that really was bad. Uh, but anyway, this trans whatever... Uh, was was in the bathroom at a Mac McDonald's. McDonald's. At McDonald's. Oh, they didn't find some oh wait, wait. Hamburgers. I'll tell, you. I'll tell you that. Before we move on, can we play this? Oh, the shit. Yes. It's a long clip, so I don't know exactly how much uh, of it you want to do. No, we don't. Um, I just want to see the just the shit part. I want to see the duty fall out. Her duty. I think we got to take Big, it from around there. Ugh, I think so disgusting. And you know, one of Flavor Flav's uh, chicks is dating Shaq. For what? people that saw that show, I was all in. Remember that girl Hoops? I don't. I never watched that. That's uh, Shaq's uh, woman nowadays. I never watched that motherfucker. All right. And out of frame for a minute, but then she came back. But thanks for coming down, y'all. Really when she came back, she had this look on her face like. Hey, welcome. Cheers, man. See y'all later. Bless you, Have a good time, y'all. Me too. After we do the toast, something takes off upstairs. Oh, my God. That's the man's face. I smell it. Oh, God. Elimination is over. I just want a sigh of relief. So I take this deep breath, and what is that smell? My God! It is. I'm going up the steps. I look down, and I was like, no. Hey, hey, hey. Watch your step. I like it. Oh, yeah, watch out. What you is that? It. Oh, my goodness. Watch out. I think, I think. I was like, wait a minute. I know we don't have no dogs in here, but they're on my steps. Oh, <laughs> this is the name he's trying to protect. Hey, yo. I'm like, where did this come from? Something is shitting on herself, dude. And everyone's like, oh, no, it's Nancy, it's Nancy. She's pooed, she's pooed. Oh. What bathroom is she at? Well, how am I supposed to get upstairs? You walk around the poo. That's how you That's get upstairs. That's fucking disgusting. That's fly where I'm from. Hey, yo, son. Hey, yo, son. And when she opened up the bathroom door, something jumped out. <laughs> Oh my God, that smell was something. Oh, so I oh think I really God. gave her the right name, folks. Know what I'm saying? Her name is something. Yo, you all right in there, baby? <laughs> there was no way me holding it. I'm gonna be honest. I was like holding it, and then out of nowhere, it's like my stomach was just like, "Bitch, you got me." I'm like, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh. So like, it just like pushed itself out. Oh, oh my God, oh, she Lord, man. shit herself. On the Flav stairs. You can have a name, buddy. So. You can Protect have that anybody. name. This Protect that name. Oh my! <laughs> on my floor. I like something because she's she's real with it. She's like, yo, check this out, baby. This is who I am. There's a wild gorilla running around loose in that bathroom. A <laughs> wow. wild gorilla. Right, he says that he's fired. She picked up everybody all night. If y'all smell anything stink around here, it's me. Cause I'm the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> no, but she. Protect that so name. So that's how the first date ended, folks. 
right here, only on Flavor of Love. With his dumb Viking hat on. Yeah. yeah. He had a little comeback for, uh, you know, he had a he had 15 a couple, minutes. And he, had, he had like two or three really good years done. after it was over for him. Yeah. So. He's done ski now. Oh, very good question from Jordan. Which lasted longer, Flavor Flav Chicken or Pop-Tart World? <laughs> uh, I think Flav's Chicken lasted longer. And that whole Pop-Tart World, they, they just went back to the regular Pop-Tarts, right? I think so, yeah. I know they closed the Times Square place down, but yeah. supposedly that was supposed to be temporary. Just a publicity thing? I don't think it was supposed to be temporary. I think they were putting it there, hoping it was going to catch on, and then they were going to franchise oh. the shit out of Pop-Tart World. If it caught on, of but, course they would have kept it there. But that turned out to be one of the worst ideas ever a debacle as they call it remember the pop tart sushi they were trying to oh, with the fruit roll up the fucking pop and they had a huge pop tart vending machine and yeah it's just because they had um they have like the M and M store there so they thought they'd be able to jump in on the M and M store whole thing fucking rules the tourists love that shit. I like the M and M store like, no but they they like just to taking pictures out there mm hmm Oh, Times Square, by the way, it, I fucking hate walking through there. If I got to go somewhere like that's close, like when we were walking to the Hard Rock mm -hmm. and I got to walk through Times Square, it's so fucking annoying. It's just that the, the, there's too many people and uh, they never know how to get the fuck out of the way. They're talking in the crosswalk. I think you just got to deal with all the shill and fucking shims and uh, scams going on. It's it's that is still going on. It's really strange because uh, the rest of New York City has nothing to do with that. No, no, not at all. You go a few blocks and then it's the regular New York. Yeah, thing. it's a big R tourist trap. They're all in. The, they're always in the way. I don't understand that. When I go to other cities, <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll check out some of that stuff. I'm guilty, I guess, but then you move on and and yeah, and really see what the city's about. You yep. know what I mean? But they're, a lot of these people, they get a hotel right in Times Square and they don't even leave the they area. They don't leave. They so go to the Olive even, Garden and yeah, you're not even yeah. hanging with New Yorkers. Yeah, you're hanging out with other rubes. With, yeah, rubes. Or Kenny calls them farmers. Shills. Hanging out with the other farmers. The farmers. Times time Square, going into like uh, uh, Toys R Us, the Gap, like you oh, said, yeah. going to Olive, Olive Garden. Why yeah, come to yeah. New York? You can do all that in, in hey, your own town. Look, TGI Fridays. Let's go there. Not really? only a TGI Fridays, Anthony, the the biggest one in the world. That's their Oh, is it? Is that their uh, their deal? That's their slug line. And the, the crosswalk, uh, there, there is like a family, and they'll cross the street, the crosswalk, and not know where they're going right after they cross the street. Mm -hmm. So they stop the second they hit the sidewalk on the other side of the crosswalk. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, this this is like, this is where everyone's walking. Right. But they stop to have a little chat about where they're going next. Mm -hmm. Move to the fucking side. Move against the building. Move somewhere where you're not in the way of everybody. Tourist. They don't know the rhythm of New York. No. You got to know the rhythm of New York. And then those guys that hand out the cards to comedy clubs that I've never fucking heard of. And meanwhile, we have how many comics on this show on a, a weekly basis? And they we hear all the places they play. And these guys are like, hey, it's comedy. Comedy. You want to see some comedy? Mm -hmm. Comedy. And they hand you these cards for a place that I've never heard there's anyone. A, there's a comedy club like where Show World used to be, and I don't even know what it's like. I've never I, even heard of it. Yeah, before. who plays I there? Remember, like Broadway it, Comedy Club, and it's like, what? Oh, never... Iraq's got a little info? One time we were in uh, Times Square with Norton, and one of those comedy guys came up to Jimmy uh, saying, like, hey, you like comedy? We got top notch comedians. And Norton's like, who? And he just listed off some of these names. And he goes, and then Jim said some line about how he's allergic to laughing; it will kill him. And <laughs> <laughs> but they do. They, they, they. Yeah, they blurt out these names. It's like, I, who the fuck are you? Who are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Where's my comedy? <laughs> <laughs> where's the Where's the McDonald's clip? Oh uh, well, do you want the, the, do you want the beating or her talking about it? Because there's a I, lot. I, of things I don't we can really know with. because I, I I really have not followed this story. Yeah, she. Uh, it's out of Boston. I know that, right? No, actually, wasn't uh, that one out of Mal Boston? Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore. I don't even know where the fuck it happened. Yeah, and um, she was in the bathroom, right? Sure. And uh, as a what? As a, a woman. Woman with a dick. As a well, I don't know if the thing has a vagina or not. Okay. And um, 
She's in the bathroom, and I think one of the girls accused her of looking at her man's, and then said that you look like a man, and just proceeded to beat, start beating the shit out of uh, out of him, her, whatever it is, uh, kicking in the head, dragging by the hair, the wig comes off, and mm -hmm. and then pulling by the hair, kicking in the head until this um, transgender uh, 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 person went into a seizure at the front door. And that's when the guy that was uh, videoing the the melee, who worked at McDonald's, said, "Oh, you better you better get out of here. The cops is coming. To, you better get out of here." Mm -hmm. So they fired him for uh, videoing it and not leaving uh, or not uh, helping. Why would you help when two? Well, one fat woman tried to step in and help, but uh, that was to no avail. Right. It's just this fucking like I, I you know I always say behave, but just fucking behave. Uh, and so many of these things turned up. I watched the street melee in uh, San Francisco, I guess it was, where some bitch got fucking bashed in the head with a high heel, and she's bleeding profusely. Her tits are hanging out. They're in the street fighting. It's just some ignat shit going on. It's great stuff to check out. Chuck E. Cheese. On a nightly basis, I look at nothing but fast food beatdowns. It's great. It, it's a. Uh, it's it's <laughs> it, it's like an epidemic. You think? Yeah, yeah, it is. Why? It's, it's something that's just happening, because some people don't know how to just behave, in and, and have patience. Uh, when you're in a McDonald's, you're not getting the 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 best service. I'm sorry, McDonald's. You're just not. It's, so sometimes your food order gets fucked. Uh, you're you're around people that annoy you, but you just get your shit and you leave eventually. But there are some people that just can't. Uh, can't deal with waiting, waiting in line, um, uh, dealing with uh, a staff that might have forgotten something. It instantly turns into this violence. It, go it, it, it goes from yelling this horrid shit to just throwing shit and then to punching. That's pretty much the chain of events I see when I watch uh, the thousand of these have, that I have watched. Have you been in a McDonald's recently? I've not been in a McDonald's in... I mean, probably since the NEW days. Oh, yeah. I, I it's got to be 10 years, I went at in, least. I went in one uh, recently just to film some shit. Yeah. And I, 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 I'll i be honest with you, Ed. I was amazed Yeah. by the clientele. Well, they do. Because when I was growing up, yeah. It, was, oh, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was a different McDonald's. It was families. Suburban families would go there. I had a McDonald's in my neighborhood, and, you know, it was a big deal when, when mom and dad would go, hey, kids, we're going to McDonald's, mm -hmm. and, and we'd hop in the car and... Uh, Dad would call me a faggot because I'd bring my my little <laughs> puppet that he called a doll, and uh, we'd drive to McDonald's and was it a, uh, was it a Barbie doll? Uh, no, no, no. I had made it. It was a it was a puppet. It was a marionette that didn't have strings yet. I was working on it. You you made it from scratch? Yeah. Was it from a kit? No. I just took some like fucking cloth and uh, that's weird and shit and well I wanted to that's make a, a marionette. Strange. A little strange. I want to make a marionette. You ever see him? I know. And then you make the X with the wood. Right. And then you attach the little strings to the hands and the head and, and the legs, and, and he what? moves around. But if you don't have the strings, then I think my dad was right. It is just what amounts to a doll. So why didn't you get the strings? Well, lazy. Well, I know. And what was the and name of your marionette? marionette? I'm a kid. What was the name of the marionette? I'm not, I'm not sure it had a name yet. And it was that, just kind of a thing. Did he throw it out the window? Um. Yeah, I think he did. He Jesus. did kind of toss it and... Well, he didn't want me to grow up to be a fag, Opie. I would have been a fag if I would have had that uh, marionette that he said was a doll. Right. Yeah, so we hop in the car go to McDonald's. Without your marionette. Without he, my marionette. he threw that on what, yeah. Jericho Turnpike you're not taking that. You're not taking that fucking doll with with you. Uh, Mom, oh, Joey, let him take it. It's a puppet. It's not a puppet. It's a doll. Shut the fuck up, bro. We're, go we're all going to McDonald's. Wow, he said McDonald's. I was happy for two seconds until we hopped in the Rambler. Then we're like, oh, here it comes again. Here it comes again. More yelling and screaming. Yeah. What happened at McDonald's? Nice little family Well, uh, it was outing? a family thing, yeah, yeah. When you, when you used to get your fast food and go to a beach, that was a Long Island thing to do. Yeah, I or guess did you sit in the McDonald's? I did that, but, but as a family thing, before I got older, uh, you'd just sit at McDonald's and eat. 
But then afterwards, when you get a little older, you would do that. What was your favorite fast food joint growing up? Uh, McDonald's. Mine was Kentucky Fried Chicken. McDonald's. Uh, no, it was... Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken was number one, and then... Uh, and then uh, Burger King kind of sparked up. Burger King was a, a tastier, right? Yeah, yeah, that charbroiled thing. Uh, but I thought then they were tastier. But then growing up to the point where, like, you hit 18, you start drinking, it's all about Taco Bell. Right. It was uh, not Taco Bell. Holy shit, Jack in the Box. What, White Castle. What's wrong with you? Jack in the Box, dude. You get your breakfast Jack, and or you get your Jack tacos that looked like they were filled with baby shit. <laughs> yeah, what it was that? Uh, what well, was that? That was the, the furthest thing from meat. Thank God you ever. You were too drunk to give a fuck what that stuff yeah. really was. And then whatever you didn't finish, you threw against the window of the fucking Jack in the Box. You know what that was? And drove away. I know what it was. Why? They had homeless guys in the back that pre-chewed the food before uh, they put it in that it, shit. And spit it into the... Fucking they spit it into a big vat, and then you had a jack-in-the-box worker scoop it up with a ladle <laughs> and make your... Uh, what was it called? Uh, the the taco, right? Just the... Uh, I guess. Yeah. With that mystery taco meat. meat. And what? then there was... Uh, when Roy Rogers first opened up, uh, the the clientele, not the clientele, the the people that worked there, mm. had a dress in cowboy hats mm -hmm. and and this. Roy Rogers uniforms, and had to actually when you came up to the counter, they had to say howdy, partner, <laughs> and then when you left, they gave you a bag and they had to say happy trails. <laughs> It, it just reminded me of fucking Hamilton and Fast Times. <laughs> sure, it's all prepared the same way. Hey. Were you, Why don't you have a trout dog? Were you an Arby's guy? Um, I liked Arby's because there there was an Arby's by the drive-in movie theater in Comac. Wow. And we used okay. to go there, and I liked Arby's until my sister had a tummy ache, and we all ate Arby's, and then she threw up in the car during, uh... uh that'll ruin it During, forever. I believe, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> and, um, and she threw up in the car, and it totally put me off of, uh, Arby's, Arby's for the rest of my life. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> yeah, but the McDonald's was, um, like you said, it was pre predominantly, especially where we were from, very suburban, very white. Uh, there was, there was never violence at McDonald's mm -hmm. ever. And now they really are catering to, um, a lot of, uh, uh, ethnicity, a lot of, um, Africa. I think they cater too much to African Americans, McDonald's, which I, if I was African American, I'd be very angry that, uh, they're trying to, uh, pump you full of uh, horrid food that gives you nothing but obesity and uh, diabetes. But um, they're catering to, um, they even have these, this special secret site, uh, something 360. Black and 360. it's all about diversity at McDonald's. And I, I think it's black365.com. Yeah, is that it? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I read that on a site. Yes, uh, Iraq. There's a lot of McDonald's ads now where they're just sponsoring big, like, soul and R&B festivals yes. and religious events. Essence Music Festival, sponsored by McDonald's and Coca-Cola. What's on McDonald's menu for the 2011 Essence Music Festival? Like, McDonald's has completely gone black. And, um... Seems that you way. You know, if, if you want to market that way, that's fine. But then you got to go with the repercussions of, um... Some people that I guess have grown up uh, impoverished and um, uh, disillusioned and uh, strike out in certain ways. I love the families they're showing on this fucking web page. What kind of stuff is going on there? I don't think I've seen any of that in my life. <laughs> By the way, the um, Boston thing was two chicks fighting over pancake syrup at, Danny, at Denny's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Over so syrup. Over the sour. What is 365 black? At McDonald's, we believe that African-American culture and achievement should be celebrated 365 days a year, not just during Black History Month. That idea, uh, that's the idea behind 365black.com. It's a place where you can learn more about education, employment, career advancement, and entrepreneurship opportunities and meet real people whose lives have been touched by McDonald's. How is your life touched by a McDonald's? A uh, heart attack. Uh, stroke, uh, diabetes, uh, obesity. Plus, you can also uh, have a chance to win an exciting once-in-a-lifetime uh, opportunities. Some some opportunities, I guess. You could so make sure you visit often. You just might get inspired. This word's like inspired and diversity. And uh, how, how they meanwhile, it's a beat down going down. Every video I see, there's never any inspirational moments going on. There's beat downs.
Is that Nick Cannon? Did he graduate from uh, McDonald's from College? McDonald's U. Because he he's got a diploma and, and he's got that cap and gown on. They hey, are. Can I? I want to see one video of inspiration from this website. Yeah, where's some inspiration? Do they have a video section? There's a basketball at the bottom of the page. Look at this. <laughs> and basketball slides in. They don't really have it. Check out what's new at McDon no, I big want McDonald's. I want an inspirational video, damn it. Well, the only videos I can seem to find are, are ads for McDonald's, which I'm sure star African-American families and people. What's uh, in the opportunities uh, section? McDonald's, the brand of opportunity. Hang on. I and there's a young African-American gentleman dressed what's in that a video? suit. And oh, that's from on, the other on. thing. Oh, that's the beatdown. Oh, that's the... That's uh, the, yeah. <laughs> That's what you. Oof. That's a bowling for behavior. Yeah. Yes. That guy's just. It just says opportunity. Oh, and then there's a video. There. McDonald's. That's where we get some of our favorite foods like hamburgers, premium chicken, McGriddles, and of course the fries. Yeah. But we'd like to give you a deeper look into our corporation oh, to see all of the business opportunities going on under Listen the arches. music. <clears throat> our bow, corporate diversity bow, bow. goals help build skills for professional development, allowing employees to achieve high levels of success within our company. At McDonald's, we know that education is the key to success. Vice President of U.S. Marketing That's why Strategy McDonald's is a black guy. All right, now it makes and sense. And many of our individual franchisees provide college scholarships. We also proudly support programs also, such as yeah. the Unite Negro College Fund Negro. and the Thoroughgood Marshall <laughs> College Fund. Thurgood Marshall. The entrepreneurial spirit is part of our community. Yeah, More than 1,200 McDonald's restaurants are owned and operated by African Americans. They look like black zombies. Jackie and yeah. I they're horrible belong readers. To the National Black McDonald's Operators Association. National Black the McDonald's of Operators. We generate billions of dollars in sales every year in our McDonald's restaurants. Speaking of dollars, McDonald's also spends hundreds of millions of dollars, with African American yours. suppliers and vendors. My name is Aaron Johnson, and I work for Baldwin Richardson Foods Company. We have been a supplier of ice cream toppings and dipping sauces to McDonald's since 1998. Wow! McDonald's is your neighborhood restaurant. We make sure we understand. It's not a restaurant. No, it's and not a restaurant. The food differences joint. that make each person special and unique. A restaurant. Our restaurant. Our table, restaurants yeah. reflect the people we serve. Every Every day. So you see why we proudly say that McDonald's is deeply rooted in the community. 365 days a year. In person. In person. In person. In person. In person. <laughs> keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep fucking that chicken. It's not a restaurant. A restaurant. Restaurant. Wow, they have a, a, a black it's, McDonald's owners fucking organization. I don't know about you, but when I go to a restaurant, I'm not sitting next to a homeless guy that's taking a nap. No, no. Because he knows he could get away with it in, in the McDonald's. Any restaurant, I expect to hear, here, come come this way, and you follow uh, someone with menus. That's a restaurant to mm -hmm. me. Right. Not just, you know, walk up and point at the fucking board and have some inept asshole behind the counter you know, push buttons with pictures of the fucking food on it because sure. you can't add sure and if <laughs> and if your chair doesn't move it's not a restaurant yeah it doesn't move <laughs> if you can't slide your chair in and out if you can't pull the chair out for your date it's not a restaurant it's all plastic and <laughs> bolted to the floor I, I smell bed i think we got yeah, a bed yeah. going here that is not a fucking restaurant i don't see an appetizer menu no they never ask you, would you like to have dessert uh, yeah, when you're a, uh, finished? A light board. If you order off of a light board, it's... A light it's, board. It's not, it's right. Yeah, a it's... A, you look up, and if you could order by just by numbers of a six... Whoa. If no one says you're... Chinese restaurants. Yeah. You, know, you could order by numbers, and yeah, you are true. sitting, and it sort of looks like a restaurant. Yeah, but I think yeah. that falls under the... Cri it has to meet McDon this criteria for what makes McDonald's a restaurant, too. Right. So I think if if you walk in, and it's not like a last name followed by party of, and then a number... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no restaurant there. If you're using plastic utensils, it's not a restaurant. You cannot call up McDonald's and make a reservation. <laughs> right. If you have to go and get yeah. your own soda, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> We could do this all day. Oh, of course. There's no, if, if your dessert comes in a cardboard package. <laughs> yeah. right. Vince from Bayonne, there's no drive through at a restaurant. Yep. If there there's bulletproof go. glass, it's not a restaurant. Kevin from Connecticut, bravo, sir. Career development, entrepreneurship, education. Uh, 
<laughs> Nate Sack, is that how you say it? I always fuck up your name. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, any place where you would rather eat in the bathroom is not a restaurant. If you <laughs> if, if you can accidentally throw away your tray, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you even better, if you gotta fucking throw your own garbage away, it's not a restaurant. Shit away. Right. If you don't trust me with a bottle of ketchup, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> if I have to pump ketchup like it's like it's like I'm siphoning gas. <laughs> oh, no yeah. kidding. I love the how, ketchup. Yeah, how pump. valuable is that stupid ketchup? Uh, just fucking who made, let it pour. Who, who made that move? You know, some manager pump, somewhere is like, pump, you know, pump, yep. pump into those tiny We're little plastic things. We're losing a lot of ketchup bottles. We should do yeah. something about it. I said, if you have to pour your own soda, right? I, we did that one. It, uh, yeah. If it has a salad bar, it's not a restaurant. Uh, that's, that's... Nah, restaurants have salad bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there any other good ones coming in? No plates, no utensils. <laughs> if the dining area smells like mop water, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> it always does. That's Dom in Buffalo. Holy shit. Good luck to your sabers, by the way, sir. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, if you have to pump your condiments, yeah, we kind of did that one. Your food, it's not a restaurant. If you could win a, win a free food item, <laughs> it's yeah. not a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no restaurant I've been in has ball pits. <laughs> uh, I don't go to a restaurant to play the McDonald's game. I, I, I fucked up my own shit. <laughs> the Monopoly game. <laughs> if you're salt and peppers wrapped in paper, it's not a restaurant. Yeah. It's not a restaurant if you can use coupons. Uh, if there's a retard cleaning your table, it's not a restaurant. If, yeah, Paul H. in Connecticut, very good. The floor is mopped while you eat. It's not a restaurant. Yeah, they. Oh, I love that when they retard brings the mop around, you're trying to shove some shit in your mouth. If you got to uh, pay first, it's yeah, not a restaurant. Yeah. Why do we? Does someone, say, if, if, uh, my, if my change it gets dispensed to me through a machine, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a restaurant either. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about where you, yeah, where yeah, you yeah, get yeah. your if bills the, back, but then there's like the magic change machine. Yeah, well, the change ride. <laughs> if it comes change, down, it goes wee. If the change, change comes down a slide, it's yeah. not a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking dumb do you, do you workers have to be to be like, you know, what, we just got to get one of those fucking change machines. <laughs> they just can't get this right. <laughs> Jamie from Puerto Rico. If you have to ask the manager for the. Oh, fuck, where'd it go? Oh, for the bathroom keys, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> if you could order a meal with a toy, Chris and Buffalo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, Tom. Tom and PA, if, you, if your spoon and fork are one and the same, it's not a restaurant. Yeah, yeah if you have that spork. Please drive around. McDonald's, may I have you? Oh god. Uh no one wears a headset <laughs> at a restaurant. Not it's true. Just, really? Where? Not true. Well, uh, you want a uh, busy 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 restaurant. Uh, I've seen like hosts with headsets really? on they need to be in communication. Oh wow. Yep. By me. Men in <laughs> Iowa. If there's shit all over the bathroom walls, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> there's a good one. Yeah, if there's like a changing station in the bathroom, it's not it's not a real restaurant. Why in Virginia, if the fanciest thing on the menu is filet of fish, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> if there's two restaurants in one building, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I love the combo fucking Subway, KFC. <laughs> Baskin Robbins is guilty of that yeah, shit. They do the what happened to Baskin Robbins where they said, hey, man, we'll just take a tiny piece of your place, please. Yeah, yeah. Let us, let us sell us our out. shit in the corner. Just some ice cream in the corner. Mm -hmm. If there's an indoor playground, it's not a restaurant. How about yeah. those triple ones where it's like the KFC, Pizza Hut, and Taco Bell? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm, That's the delicious. shiznit right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about if, you're, if, if you could buy food at a Target? That's not a restaurant. <laughs> if, you're, if you're eating at a place that sells furniture, that's not a restaurant. Travis. <laughs> How about Spike in Florida? If there's a garbage can in the dining room, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> if you're fueling up while eating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, shit. Yeah, the restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, right. Hamburger. 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 That's it. Ham bird. Bird. Shuggy ducky. Quack quack. Quack quack. Shuggy ducky. Quack quack. I'll have the sugar ducky. Quack quack. And a ham bird. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> if a disgruntled black chick who is chewing gum, I guess, uh, says, Can I take yo oda? It's not a restaurant. <laughs> yo oda. <laughs> yo oda. That's Matt. I just. Uh... If you're served on a plastic tray, did, did we do the tray yeah. thing? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, there have been some tray uh, heat lamps. How about if like the majority of the menu is a dollar? <laughs> it's not a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. I got a perfect way to end this. <laughs> yeah. Steve, uh, you in Buffalo. If E Rock is eating there, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> oh, damn, E Rock. <laughs> Thought he was unscathed through this one. Unscathed. Almost made it, E Rock. Almost mm -hmm. made it. E Rock's a Wendy's boy anyway. Everybody yeah. Knows that. Wendy's is good. It's not fast food. It's good food fast. Oh, all right. Chris has, uh, is a little confused by you today, Anthony. Why? Chris on Long Island. He'll explain. All right. Well, let me see if I got this right. First, they're shiftless, lazy, no work, and drains on society. But then we get a place that's going to give him a job, and you're pissed about that, too. Well, the, the job thing, uh, as I see it, is, um, I don't know. I think it's a way to get some free food. So I see a lot of people. I'm not talking just black people. I'm talking whoever gets a job at McDonald's. It's kind of like, you know, I get some free food. You know what I mean? No. And the service <laughs> and the service sucks. And the service stinks. It just goes, no. You go in there and the service, if I hear, may I hit you, I'm like, I'm just fucked. I'm going to be standing here forever. Where the hell? I mean, actually, I know where you live. I've been in your house for cars with your brother. No. But what? McDonald's you go to because all my McDonald's don't have these people there. I haven't been there uh, in, in quite some time. Okay. I go to the I go to the McDonald's on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Those are the best ones to go to because uh, that's where all the beatdowns happen. And uh, I love watching a good beatdown. Well, I'm, I'm going to get my oatmeal McDonald's. Take care, boys. All right, Chris. Chris. He almost didn't get the invite back to your uh, house there. Uh, that's right. He was pushing a little Gotta bit. Watch I think. it. Uh, I got to go back to Flavor Flav for a second because yeah. I, I just checked my uh, my email. Oh, did he uh, email you? No, but Don Wicklin did. Oh, Wiki. Wiki was in charge of the channel back then. Oh, that's right. For the Flavor Flav thing mm -hmm. when he hijacked our our little Halloween show. Was it Halloween? Yes. Halloween yeah, show. Halloween. Yes. I, I don't even know because we didn't get to do half the shit we wanted. No, but. we didn't. Uh, Don writes, by the way, I had to pay his bar tab for his 65 family members. Wow. You want to guess how much that was? Uh, Actually, the number is not that outrageous. Forty-two hundred bucks. Mm. That was on mm. XM's uh, dime. Was it? They actually paid. That wouldn't happen now. Uh, no, Don had to pay. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, I see what you're saying. But like, he was reimbursed by XM. I doubt it. Really? I bet he was. But nowadays, that would never happen. Nowadays, they would say, "Well, they'd be like, what, why'd problem? you pay? Right? Fuck you. You paid it. Right." Fuck you, pay me. Kind of like that. I kind of like that restaurant bit we just did. Yeah, I like that. Off the cuff. A lot of off the cuff stuff. Oh, today. why not? Podiums and. Podiums. It's, it's not a restaurant if. Podiums. <laughs>